Tayo ay natipon upang matutong magmahalan in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon sa inyong lahat. No? Ito meron tayong ilang butil na kasama dito sa ating chapel, dito sa Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. At alam ko kahit na kayo ay nakamask, eh, kayo ay nakangiti. No, tayo ay bakit hindi tayo ngingiti ay tayo ay muling nabigyan ng pagkakataon upang makisalo sa isang pagdiriwang na kung saan ay naalala natin ang pagliligtas sa atin ng Panginoon. At kasabay natin of course ay ang ating mga taga-subaybay sa ating live streaming. Sa inyo po magandang hapon din po. Kaya ngayon ang, ang, sa ating ebanghelyo, sa ating or sa mga pagbasa natin, we, we talk about the forgiveness of God. And in the beginning of every celebration, Eucharistic celebration, we approach the altar of the Lord with a contrite heart and a humble spirit, asking God's forgiveness, asking His mercy and compassion. And with this, we now pray, I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Sama ng 
Let us pray. Look upon us, O Lord, our God, our Creator, and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days, set enmity aside. Remember death and decay and cease from sin. Think of the commandments. Hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. Please repeat and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The, the Lord, Lord is kind and merciful, merciful slow, slow to anger and rich in compassion. compassion. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills, he redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The, the Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger and rich in compassion. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger, and rich in compassion. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger, and rich in compassion. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter came up and asked Jesus, Lord, when my brother wrongs me, how often must I forgive him? Seven times? No, Jesus replied, not seven times. I say, 70 times, seven times. That is why the reign of God may be said to be like a king who decided to settle accounts with his officials. When he began his auditing, one was brought in who owed him a huge amount. As he had no way of paying it, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the official prostrated himself in homage and said, My Lord, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with pity, the master let the official go and wrote off the debt. But when that same official went out, he met a fellow servant who owed him a mere fraction of what he himself owed. He seized him and throttled him. Pay back what you owe, he demanded. His fellow servant dropped to his knees and began to plead him. Just give me time and I will pay you back in full. But he would hear none of it. Instead, he had him put in jail until he paid back what he owed. When his fellow servants saw what happened, they were badly shaken and went to their master to report the whole incident. His master sent for him and said, You worthless wretch, I canceled your entire debt when you pleaded with me. Should you not have dealt mercifully with your fellow servant as I dealt with you? Then in anger, the master handed him over to the torturers until he paid back all that he owed. My heavenly Father will treat you in exactly the same way unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good afternoon sa inyong lahat. The theme, the title of my sharing for this afternoon is Level Up Forgiving. Level Up Forgiving o Level Up. Ayan, familiar. Marami sa atin, no? lalo na yung mga millennials ay pag sinabing Level Up, naku, siguradong i-refer agad yan sa mga computer games. No? Pag nakaka-earn ka ng mga points and then you are leveling up no? and able to play another character or you have an extra life, extra power, going to a higher level, gaining more skills or strength, level up. However, on the other definition of level up is it is defined as to go to a higher level or standard. And in our reflection for today, ano ang ile-level up natin? We will level up our way of forgiving. Yung, well, I termed it na 
yung forgiving natin ay maging wagas, hindi wakas. O bakit? Well, an impression, an assumption that many of our forgiving ay hindi nangyayari. Kaya nauuwi sa wakas. Nawawakasan ang relationship. Nawawakasan ang friendship. Kung sa mag-asawa, nagkasala yung isa, o, oh, edi eh hiwalay. Wakas. O, sa magkakapatid, pag nagaway-away, o, oh, wakasan na natin to. Hatiin na ang dapat hatiin. Kung may mamanahin, hatiin na ang mamanahin. Huwag na tayong magkita-kita. O, ang hindi lang mahati, siguro ay yung naiwang utang ng nanay at saka ng tatay. In the social media, may term tayo rito. Unfriend. We pretend na sana unseen. We barred. No, we block. Ayoko na sa'yo. Finish na. Wakas na. Peter asked Jesus about that in the gospel. Ano ang tanong niya? Sabi niya, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times. Ay, sa ating karanasan, yung seven times bang ito, eh, gaano nakarami ito? Naku, Father, parang ang dami na niyan. Yun ngang makadalwa, yun ngang makatatlo, eh, sobra na. Sabi sa amin sa kabite, laos ka na, lumalaos ka na, ayoko na, di ka na makakaulit. O yung iba naman, sasabihin, o, oh, sa korte na tayo mag-usap. O, sa barangay. <laughs> Kay Kap, dali natin ito. Nang tayo ay magkahiwalay na nang hindi na tayo magkita kahit kailan. And sadly, hindi lang yun. Meron pa tayong gaganti ako. Babangon ako. Dodurugin kita. Bakit? Eh, yun ang nakikita sa paligid. O kaya naman, yun ang nakikita natin sa pamilya. O kaya naman, yun ang nakikita natin sa community. No? Ano ang sabi sa first reading kay Syrac? Wrath and anger are hateful or hateful things. Yet the sinner hugs them tight yung galit, niyayapos natin ng mahigpit. Yung away ay ano, inaalagaan. O kaya naman, yung pinag-uusapan namin sa dining hall, yung term na nagtatanim ng galit. O parang sa sharing niya tayo ni Father Ben sa same gospel. Magtatanim ng isang simbolo, ng isang puno of anger and wrath. But actually, sabi nila na itong pagtatanong na ito ni Pedro sa Panginoon ng seven times, ay he was expecting na, aba, sasabihin ng Panginoon, marami na yan. Why? Because referring to an Old Testament text in the book of the prophet Amos, chapter 1, 3, to 13. The Jewish rabbi at the time thought that forgiving someone more than three times was unnecessary. Kasi nga, kay Amos, where God forgave Israel's enemies three times, then punish them. O, oh, ayan, ano ba ang sabi rito? Sabi rito, three sins of Damascus, even for four, I will not relent. Three sins of Gaza, of Tyre, of Edon, of Ammon. I will not relent even for. Oh. Eh, dinoble ni Pedro. Dinagdagam pa. Lord, seven times. 
expecting, well, I assume, na sasabihin ng Panginoon, oh, madami na yan. Pag nakatatlo, nakaapat eh, tama na. But then, here, parang binuhusan ng malamig na tubig. Not biblical po, galing sa inyong lingkod. <laughs> Sabi ng Panginoon, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Hindi wakas, kundi wagas. Seventy times seven. Naku, ilang ba yun? Compute seventy times seven. Four hundred ninety Tama ba? Oh. Sa mathematician, or it's a mathematical equation. But, in the context of our scripture reading, it is an expression. Something that will tell us about being boundless, being endless, being lasting. Lord, paulit-ulit? Anong sasabihin ni Lord? Eh di, paulit-ulit ka magpatawad. And Jesus' entire life is filled with the scenes, with events of forgiveness, of pagpapatawad. In Matthew 9, verse 5, sabi niya, which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up and walk? And he did both. The person went away forgiven and healed. The parable of the prodigal son in Luke 15, 11 to 32 is a classic forgiveness of a father to a son who left, treated him dead, and squandered his share of inheritance. In Luke 23, 32 to 43, don't miss this out. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And in that same chapter, anong ginawa niya sa isang makasalanan na nakabayubay din sa krus kasama niya. Truly, I say to you, today you shall be with me in paradise. At sino ang makakalimot sa isang senaryo? In John 21, 15 and the following, where Peter, who is supposed to be the leader of the group, the band of brothers, trusted disciple, denied him three times, was restored, was forgiven, was reconciled with Jesus. When Jesus asked him, Do you love me, Peter? Three times or Simon, son of John. Go back to the first reading and you will find the words, forgive your neighbor's injustice. Then when you pray, you own, your own sins will be forgiven. Pagpapatawad na mathematical 490. But of course, it is more than that. Pagpapatawad na walang limit. Pagpapatawad na boundless. Pagpapatawad na wagas. Hindi wakas. Here, let me end my sharing by an inspired reflection experience turned into a music, into a song. Well, the claim was it's written by Richard Mullen and 
Music by Jack Richards. Babasahin ko lang yung ilang parte. He can turn the tides and calm the angry sea. He alone decides who writes his symphony. He lights every star that makes the darkness bright. He keeps watch all through each long and lonely night. He still finds the time to hear a child's first prayer. Saints or sinners calls and always finds him there. Though it makes him sad to see the way we live, he always say, I forgive. At ito ang paghuhugutan natin ng pagpapatawad na wagas, hindi wakas. Nakakaligalig, ano? nakakagabog, kinakabog tayo ng nais ipagawa ng Panginoon sa atin. But of course, in the end, eh ito rin naman ang gagawin niya para sa ating lahat. And that is the reason why He offered His life for us to fully realize that tayo rin mag-level up ng ating pagpapatawad. Marami tayong makikita niyan. Marami tayong inspirasyon sa pang-araw-araw nating buhay. Siguro kayo rin at one point ay nagpatawad ng wagas sa isang tao. No? Why? Because, yun na nga, we are inspired by Jesus, by our God, who always say, I forgive. At sana, kayo rin. Again, level up forgiveness. Pagpapatawad na wagas, hindi wakas. Amen. And now we profess our faith by praying, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the, the communion, communion of saints, saints the and the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, sins, the resurrection of the body, and life, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us humbly pray to the Father that having been forgiven, we in turn must forgive our brothers and sisters from our hearts. Full of trust, we pray, Father, come to the help of your people. Father, come to the help of your people. For our church, may she practice compassion to those wronged by its members, and may healing and forgiveness come to those who were hurt by them. We pray. Father, come, come to, the to the help of your, of your people. people. For those who find it hard to forgive because of indifference, apathy, and all forms of discrimination, may they be enlightened by God's mercy to open their hearts in realizing that they have the ability to forgive. May reconciliation and peace within families be achieved. We pray. Father, come, come to, to the, the help, help of, of your, your people. people. For those of us who do not re yet realize that we need forgiveness, may we find the grace to ask for forgiveness from the people we have hurt. We pray. Father, Father come to the help of your people. As we celebrate Catechist Sunday today, we pray that all catechists may be true witnesses to the gospel and ministers to the youth by reflecting in their words and actions God's love and mercy. We pray. Father, come to the help of your people. For our beloved dead, may they delight in the joy of the heavenly kingdom in the company of angels and saints. 
we pray. Father, come to the help of your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, Father come, come to, to the, the help, help of, of your people. people. And I just want to lift to God our beloved Nani Nelly for recovery and Nani Regina for um, eternal repose of her soul and also for the soul of Renato Bandrik Chua. We pray. Father, Father, come to the come help, to the of, help your of your people. people. Look upon our wounded selves, Lord. Change our hearts of stone to hearts filled with love. Renew our afflicted spirit with your peace. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Oh, uh -huh. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop Onesto, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray to God the Father to forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, God's eternal forgiveness. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. May the working of the heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our reign fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renadimitz. Pray for us. So, brothers and sisters, I would like to thank those who came to volunteer sa preparation natin ngayong Sunday na ito. Meron tayong tatlong misa na ginanap. No? And of course, because of some uh, protocols, eh, kailangang merong checking, merong prepara preparation. So thank you very much po. And of course, who took part of the liturgy uh, at mga kasama natin na nagla-live stream. At muli po, nagpapasalamat din kami sa patuloy niyong pananalangin, patuloy niyong pagsuporta no, sa mga gawain natin dito sa Shrine of Jesus the divine word. So, salamat po de sa inyong lahat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Turn your people to you with all their hearts, O Lord, we pray, for you protect even those who go astray. But when they serve you with undivided heart, you sustain them with still greater care through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come Amen. down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, the Mass is ended. Let us go and reconcile with one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
Love.